and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip, we will demonstrate how to set up the three-point bending clamp for DMA mode testing on the Aries G2 rotational rheometer. Using the force rebalance transducer, the Aries G2 is a rotational rheometer capable of performing linear dynamic mechanical analysis. The three-point bending clamp can be used to study viscoelastic properties of a solid rectangular specimen in bending mode. Typical tests with this configuration include amplitude sweeps to determine the linear viscoelastic region, time sweeps to determine stability, frequency sweeps to determine viscoelastic properties, and temperature ramp or sweeps to determine thermal transitions, measure modulus, and collect TTS data for master curve generation. When mounted on the Aries G2, the three-point bending clamp is used in tandem with the forced convection oven for temperature control. The three-point bending clamp kit includes a set of hex keys, the upper, lower fixtures, one alignment tool, and 10, 25, and 40 millimeter size frames. From Trio software, select the three-point bending from the geometry drop-down menu then proceed to the clamp calibration. If this geometry file has not been previously created, then click on Add New Geometry. Choose three-point bending from the list, then click on Next. Simply click on Next in the next few pages since we will be entering sample dimensions and performing clamp calibration after the geometry file is created. At the end, Click on Finish to create this geometry file. Then, TRIOS will automatically lead you to proceed for the clamp calibration. The three-point bending clamp calibration includes three steps, two mass, alignment position, and two expansion. The third step, two thermal expansion calibration, is optional. To perform two mass calibration, first, Remove fixture from the upper shaft. Tear the transducer. Once complete, mount the upper fixture to the shaft. Measure the mass of the upper tool. Then click on Commit to complete the two mass calibration. Insert the 25mm size frame to the lower fixture. Mount the fixture to the bottom stage. Place the alignment tool onto the bottom clamp frame. Carefully lower the upper geometry until the upper tool is inserted into the center V-slot of the alignment tool. Use the TRIO software to read the alignment position through the geometry calibration. Once finished, Raise the instrument head and remove the alignment tool. You can now use the Move to Alignment Position button in the motor control panel at any time to return the geometry to the alignment position. This guarantees the geometries are always aligned with one another during testing. Use a caliper to measure the sample width and thickness. Enter the sample dimension into the geometry file in TRIOS. The sample length is the span of the bottom frame. To ensure an accurate bending test, the sample length to thickness ratio needs to be equals to or greater than 10 to 1. Since this sample thickness is 3.2 mm, we shall select to use the frame size of 40 mm for the measurement. Place the sample onto the bottom stage. Lower the upper clamp until it is fully in touch with the sample. The three-point bending clamp is now ready for testing. Typical three-point bending test procedures include axial force control in compression mode to maintain contact between geometry and sample during testing, followed by an oscillation step. These oscillation steps can include an amplitude sweep to determine the linear viscoelastic region, a frequency sweep for viscoelastic characterization, 
a time sweep to determine stability, or a temperature ramp or sweep to measure thermal transitions and modulus as a function of temperature. In this TA Tech Tip, we have demonstrated the setup and use of the three-point bending clamp for performing dynamic mechanical analysis on a solid rectangular polymer sample on the ARIES G2 rheometer. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA Tech Tips, and thank you for your interest.